what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Heather and I am a full-time reseller on eBay and on Poshmark. I do favor Poshmark and it's just like my favorite platform to sell on. I don't know why, um, but I do sell on both. If you guys want to check out my sites, you can look at the links down below. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you guys are interested in hauls of stuff to resell because I do put out a lot of those. And because I am in my new filming room, I'm going to be uploading more consistently. It feels so nice to be just filming in a space where I don't feel clutter. I am going to be doing a tour of my filming setup and my filming room at some point, but I am waiting to get like a bench for right here for me to film on or, you know, like maybe like a really small, like cozy, like couch or something. It has to be something minimal. We don't have a ton of space here. But I'm just waiting on that and then I'll be doing like wall decor and then I'll be doing the tour. So that could be like anywhere from two weeks to a month from now. I'm not really sure. It just depends, you know, what I find and what's available. So anyway, feels great to be in a filming room. Really excited to upload videos more consistently. I'm here with a haul. As I mentioned, I went garage selling and I went to the thrift stores over the weekend and I want to share with you guys everything that I got. And it's in no particular order, but I will give you kind of like a range on cost of goods because I do have tax in my area. So I'm just going to kind of like give you a rough estimate. I didn't write every little thing down. And then I will certainly let you know if it's from thrifted or garage sale. So anyway, that's kind of what's going on. Let's get into the video. First things first, I picked up some American Eagle jeans. I love picking up American Eagle jeans. They sell really well for me. They're just a great bread and butter. These are the American Eagle High Rise Crop Distressed Hem. They do have four buttons, which I do prefer to sell things with zippers, but I think they're really cute. And I think going into fall, these should do really well. I am seeing a little bit of slowdown with like denim jeans right now because it is, you know, hot outside. So I paid probably about $6 for these and they were from the thrift store. Also, I want to note that like American Eagle to find it for less than $8 in my area is sometimes hard because the thrift stores think like they should price it up. But I did okay. I found a few things. And I'm going to tell you guys too like on a few things how I got to that price point. Okay, so these are some RBX new tag size large leggings. And these are, you know, RBX is not it's not a high expensive athletic brand. Another reseller told me these do really well. I don't really have much interest in these on Poshmark. I don't think I'm going to pick them up again. I certainly am never going to pick them up used unless they're like a buck. But for $6 on these new tags, I would not pick them up. I would not have picked them up, I mean, if they were not new tags. So we're just going to see how those do. It's a test to see like what happens for me versus what another reseller told me. All right, next I have some Airy leggings. They are the Chill Play Move in size small. I've sold the dark gray for like some decent money pretty fast. Um, we're just gonna see. These don't have as much interest as those did. I think the other ones were a little bit of like a hotter color in terms of what people are looking for. These are almost in mint condition. I paid $4, uh, it was under $4.50. It was like $4.40 or something like that. Who knows? These I also paid that same price for, $4.40. They are Reebok tights. They are new with tags. Again, I don't really pick up Reebok and I would not have picked these up used, but the print was really good. I believe these are a size small as well. And I had to buy three items at the thrift store to use my coupon, but I probably wouldn't have picked up either, honestly, unless I didn't have that coupon and I had to use it like by that day. That's kind of why I ended up with those pieces, but normally, Normally I don't because the price point's too high. And then these were another like one of like nor something I normally wouldn't end up with at this at particular thrift store, but they were also part of my coupon. These are the American Eagle Next Level Stretch, high rise jegging, and they are distressed. Size eight, really cute. Everybody loves a dark wash, skinny jean. Yeah, don't come for me, skinny jeans. I know they're going out of style. I understand that, but don't come for me. People still want them. People like my age still want them. Next is a brand that I've never found before. It is Ibex. And this does have some wear, but some of this Ibex stuff can go for up to like $75 in good used condition. This is probably only going to go for around 30, but my cost of goods was like five bucks. So yeah, I'm going to get gamble on that all day long. Next, and I don't pick up this brand much either anymore. Joe's Jeans. 
Joe's sits for me for a while, but it always seems to sell at a decent price, but it does sit, hence why I don't always pick it up. These are just like a cropped jean, and I picked them up because they were three bucks. So they're in perfect condition, and for $3, being 50% off at the thrift, I couldn't resist. Next, these the cashier overcharged me on, which I'm kind of mad about. These are some American Eagle midi shorts in just the dark wash. I sell American Eagle shorts like they're water, so I always pick these up. I don't like to pay more than $5. She charged me $6. The tag definitely said five when I went home, but I'm not gonna argue. Over a dollar, I probably am going to stop picking these up just because I'm profiting like $4 off of them, but they were selling honestly so fast for me that I would buy like four pairs at $5. I'd maybe make between four to seven, depending on style but they would all be gone within 24 hours. So it's just like an easy 20, 30 bucks. And yeah, it's not a lot, but for them to always sell like within 24 hours, yes, I picked them up. They are, these have not sold yet. Um, I don't think they're gonna sell that fast because the short buying season is starting to fade. But usually when I can bulk buy them and just make a quick, especially for all the same size, a quick like 20, 30 bucks profit, I'll do it. Next, this is a really awesome find. Um, I love this. This is a Lulu's dress, new with tags, maxi, probably retails for like 100. Lulu's is hit and miss. Some of their stuff retails for a lot, some of it doesn't. You have to be careful. I've sold dresses where I've gotten a great profit. I've sold dresses where I haven't got a great profit. Style is also a factor. Um, this was $7 and new with tags. I have it listed for 50. I'm expecting to get 45. Hopefully I'll profit a decent amount of money on this. I think it's gonna go super quick as weddings are allowed again this year. Next thing I would not pick up if it's new. This is a Grand Theft Auto PC game sealed. Now, if you guys know anything about Grand Theft Auto, you will know that the PC games are not the super hot item you wanna be, you know, with your PS2, your whatever other systems it came out on, PlayStation, later versions, and I think it was out on Xbox. I was PlayStation girl, so. But this was a sealed PC game and sealed, it goes for about $20 on eBay. If it was unsealed, it's not worth anything. So I picked it up because it was only $2. And the next thing I found for two bucks is this Mr. Potato Head Play School sealed. It's nothing special, but it does go for a little bit. You know, it goes for like $12 on eBay. And it's just like, I really love selling toys. That's kind of where my heart is at with reselling. I just, it's really hard to find stuff like that because every reseller is looking for like sealed toys, especially if they're vintage and it's just a competitive thing in my area. But if I had to sell one thing, it would be toys. So the next two things I picked up are two pairs of Prano leggings. These are an extra small and a leaf print and these are just like a medium and they have like open sides. They're both capris. I know Prana I've done really well with. These have no interest on Poshmark. I know Prana is more geared towards like those outdoor pants, like weatherproof and things like that. I'm gonna see how these go. I paid about five or six dollars for each pair. I won't pick these up again if they don't do well because I think the styles are pretty decent. I mean, obviously if they were black or like a dark color, they would do a little bit better, but you know, everybody likes a good print in the summer. So I thought maybe. So we're just gonna see what happens. Poshmark's been extremely slow for me. Honestly, I might have to go back for work to work full time. Like if it doesn't pick up, like it needs to pick up. Next thing, I also don't normally pick these up, but for 25 cents at a yard sale, I picked up two Vera Bradley sunglass cases. They're in a phenomenal condition. I wouldn't have picked these up if they were in bad shape, but I figure I can lot them together on eBay and make at least $12. So that's what's going on with those. And then my last two finds are like the best finds of the whole weekend. And this was my good 25 cent find. This was like really good, you guys. 25 cents, okay? Lisa Frank vintage pencil case. If you guys don't know Lisa Frank, it is a bolo item. So you need to start buying it when you see it. However, I'm gonna give you a tip. Do not buy it if it says it's like 2014 or like a current year because it is not the vintage items. People are hungry for the early 2000s, late 90s stuff on this. I'm not sure what year Lisa Frank actually started, but that's the stuff you wanna hunt for, anything 90s, early 2000s. Anything later is gonna be kinda eh, unless you 
maybe know what you're looking for. But if this pencil case um, was complete, it would be worth about $60. And by complete, I mean if it had the pencils, if it had the eraser, if it had the sharpener, I paid 25 cents for this. It looks like I'm going to get about 25 to 30 bucks for this. So this will certainly be getting listed on eBay and it's super light to ship first class. Definitely be on the lookout for Lisa Frank. So this was the best find of the day. Next, my best find at the thrift store was these Lululemon leggings. Just long, full length leggings. They do have pilling um, in between the legs as most leggings do, but there's no holes, which I find usually all the time at the thrift store. All the time I find a huge hole in between the legs and have to pass them up. I've never found Lululemon leggings in full length that have been in this nice condition. They do need some work. I need to do lint rolling majorly on them. I did wash them, but they still need a lot of lint rolling just from me looking at them. So hopefully, you guys, I feel like $6 for these. I'm hoping to get you know, between 25 and 30, I am going to be a little bit nice on price because like I said, there is some significant pilling in between the legs, but it's nothing like that bad compared to what I've seen. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you know what bad pilling is. But because there is some, I am going to be a little conservative on my price, but these should be sold within like 24 hours. So, oh wait, one more thing. I want to thought I was done. Real quick, hockey game sealed $2 at a church rummage sale and... Usually I do really well on sealed board games, but apparently this one is not very popular. It looks like I'll probably get about $16 for it. Profit, you know, will probably be like 10 after fees. So I just recommend picking up sealed board games. I've done really well on them in the past. I picked up one for five, it sold for 60. So you just never know. If they're like $5 under, just pick them up and play them. Play them if they don't sell. <laughs> So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Sorry if it was a little lengthy. I got a lot of stuff. Obviously, you can see that the thrift store was a little kinder to me than garage selling. But I also do not recommend going garage selling hungover. Don't do it. Because I was not, like, with it at all. But what are you going to do? Because I wanted to go out and I wanted to have some fun. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.